I uh, wanted to do a review on my uh, kayak. Here's the bottom of it. I'll flip it over in a minute so we can get a better look at it. So here's the top of my kayak. The thing I really like about it is the molded uh, handle so you can have uh, it locked up. You don't have to worry about someone uh, cutting those straps. It's got a drain plug in the back. It does not have any skid plates on it. Uh, some of the other models have replaceable skid plates on the back here. So once they get scratched up, you can replace them. It's, that's what I don't like about it. It does have a serial number, but someone can easily remove that. Um, you know, it has this nice well for your um, milk can or cart two molded in um, fishing rod holders. I do not fish on this. I just go for joy rides. I weigh 290 pounds. This seat for me is very comfortable. I do not have a problem with it. Um, I put my uh, the foot pegs up really high so that my knees are above this um, brace here so my center of gravity is better and it's easier to paddle it comes with an anchor um, and i don't know how much line is there 25 feet of line uh, it comes with a one of these fishing um holder things and then uh, the Part that holds a fishing rod goes in there but like i said i don't fish with this so i don't i don't have it on um it supposedly has this is where you're supposed to keep your uh paddle and i know most fishermen say they don't like this area because they catch their line on it when they're reeling it in this particular boat does not come with a um bungee to hold it in there's screw holes for it um so you just take that bungee and flip it around and then it would hook there but this did not come with it i don't know if dicks didn't put it on because i've seen some of them with them but this one did not come with them um this is a uh, cheap um i think they're 49 dollars at uh um, the bass shop so this this particular paddle um, weighs two and a half pounds um, it's aluminum it, it's a it's a decent paddle for the money I mean obviously I, it's not a $400 paddle or a $200 paddle it'd be nice to have you know an 18 ounce uh, paddle that's really light and doesn't uh, use up all your energy but it's not bad uh, I um, have this uh, strap going through this hole because I keep a dry bag in there. So I put important things, you know, inside of there just to uh, keep them dry. Usually a weapon of some sort. It's got these straps here. I have used this to hold the paddle in. The paddle slips underneath there really nice. Again, there's the molded handle in the front. And I did notice on these screws that the washer inside has a rubber grommet um, to keep that from leaking, which is really nice. comes with this anchor um, 
I don't know what you call them. You know, you hook your anchor to that and you position it uh, depending on whether you want the back of your boat or your front of the boat to stay in one position to fish. I do not use it for that. Uh, I use it to hook my paddle to. So that's about it. Um, it tracks very well. It sits super high in the water. Like I said, I weigh 290 pounds and this is supposed to be 335 pound capacity. I don't carry any gear, you know, maybe a, a lunch box uh, with a few drinks in it. Um, that's about it. So uh, it works really good. I have no complaints. Paddles easy, tracks easy. Um, it's, I think it's 50 some pounds, so it's a little difficult to move for one person. It's just that it's it's awkward shape makes it harder to move, but one person can move it. And I'll I'll provide some still photos, so you can see how it how it sits in the water when I'm in it. Um, so I'm very happy with it. So hope you enjoy my video, and thanks for watching. Fishing rod holder. Anchor, an anchor bag. This is what comes with the kayak. You can see from the pictures how high it rides in the water. So I am definitely not overloading it being a large person. And like I said, it tracks very good and paddles easy.